and we're going to talk about them in the, in the next few weeks as we continue to minister this message to you. You have assumed that maybe, maybe God is not working in your life or he doesn't see you in your situation, or maybe you've made a mistake so bad that, that he can't use you anymore. That's all a lie. And the past doesn't matter. You're in the presence of God now. I'm going to tell you something about him. He can take things that happen to you. He can take the time that you think you lost, and he is a multiplier, and he can give it back to you, but you got to take it. Just like she tells the camera operator, take it. I hear the Lord saying, I want you to have peace, but you got to take it. If your mind is on the things that don't matter in this season, you're going to be so distracted. Oh, God, it's going to destroy you. But my peace is available to you. What are you doing here? Never thought you'd be here. You've certainly never been here before. <laughs> what are you doing here? Paul said, I decided I'm here for Christ. What have you decided that? How amazing would the shift be? Can you imagine if you just decided, I'm here for Christ? If you just started asking, God, what are you doing in my life right now? God, what are you… I, I can't control all of, the, all of the, the input, but God, I can control my response. So, Lord, here's my life. Here's my little prison cell. Here's my little limitation, all right? What is that in your hand? It matters. It matters what you say. It matters what you believe. It matters what you take in. It matters what you meditate on. It matters. Every second of your life, every season of your life, you're answering the question, what does it matter? And to every thought that has told you lately it doesn't matter, and Nobody would miss you, and the world wouldn't even. It's all, it's, it's all a distraction. The devil doesn't want you to know that what is inside of you is so much greater than what is against you. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Father, I come into agreement with each person today to realize the infinite significance of their life, that Jesus Christ would die for them, how much they matter. Your blood told me that once and for all how much they mattered, enough for you to make them unique, custom designed, custom tailored. Thank you, Lord. I am put here for a purpose. And today we speak to each situation. In fact, Holy Spirit, I want to give you just a moment to give them a better question. Instead of, why did this happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? What can you do through it? And as you shift these questions, we expect a release from heaven in our life. We thank you, Lord, that your invitation stands open for us, that if we ask, we will receive. In Jesus' name, amen.